Hello everyone and welcome to this episode, our 135th episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's weekly production diary. Isn't that something? 135 episodes. And we are now working on a batch of 10 mandolins and let me show you and tell you about how far along we are with that batch of mandolins. Mandolins number two through 10 and the two extras that we're working are all in pretty much the same shape right now. I have the fretboards glued on. I have the pegged overlay glued on. And here's what's not been done. The pegged overlays have not been trimmed up, nor have the truss rod pocket holes been cut. And of course the necks are rough, unshaped, basically unsized. Other than that, the rest of the mandolins are, you know, down to 120 grit paper. So we're in pretty good shape there. Now, the holdout is mandolin number one, which is far behind these, simply because of the time that we've spent on the intricacies of mandolin number one. It's a fancy uh, R5 master model. It's got a lot of extra inlay and... Um, a triple ply binding in two different places so it's everything else is kind of run ahead ahead of it in the batch so that's where that's where we're at with this one now when we left off last week i was putting some fancy inlay in uh to surround the tailpiece cover and that's where we're going to pick up again this week my goals this week for uh, work will be to do as much as I can with mandolin number one and bring it up to the same stage of completion as the rest of the mandolins. Uh, that means try my best to get the uh, fingerboard glued on and the peg head overlay and all like that and finish this part right here. So, and any time that I get, uh, if I get to glue things onto this mandolin and can't work on it anymore, then I'll back up and come into this front room here and do those things that we talked about earlier, such as trim the peg head overlay in the pockets and clean the necks up and stuff. But I don't think we'll get, I don't know how far we're going to get this week. Uh, the ultimate goal, of course, is to be shoot and finish on these mandolins, and we're closing in on it, but I still don't think that we're going to get that done this week, but we'll see. So, as always, I'm just going to carry the camera around with me. And if I see anything worth sharing, I'll film it and you get to see that. So let's get started. Well, that's kept me busy for the last couple of days. Now I need to go work on the fretboard. Okay, here's the fretboard. Now we go to put dots in it. And then we're going to put three ply binding on it like that. But before we do that, then we'll have to cut a ledge for this interior binding strip like that so that we will wind up with the three ply here and the three ply here. So uh, this needs to be sanded and final shaped and cleaned up. That little extra piece right there needs to be cut off. So there's a fair amount of work to be done on this before it'll be ready to glue on.
And here's the first piece of white, black, white binding put on the side of the fretboard. Okay, that mandolin fretboard is now completely bound with three ply binding on the sides and on the face of it. It has got the position dots in pearl in the face of it and it also needs to have the only thing it needs to have done is these side position dots put in and I'm getting ready to do that so it will be ready to glue on and then I'm going to take my mandolin number one here into the big room and I'm going to fit a fretboard extender and see if we can't get the fretboard glued on in the next day or two. And now those side dots are installed. And now the mandolin itself is ready, so it is time to go glue the finger. I now have the fretboard glued on mandolin number one. I'm going to glue the peghead overlay on and it will then be at the same stage of construction as all of the other mandolins in the batch.
So as you can see, I actually did get the number one job on the job jar list uh, done this week, which was get the fretboard glued on mandolin number one and its peg head overlay. Uh, that's not all I got done. I got uh, I, uh, I didn't get as much done on the batch of mandolins as I intended to, but I did uh, kind of get brought back here into the repair corner because I had a couple of uh, uh, instruments that have been here just a little too long. One of them being a Martin uh, D28 that had all of the binding off of the back of it and this mandolin that I built back in 1984 and the owner wanted to have a, a, a new bridge put on it and just have it kind of uh, tweaked and tuned up and, and looked over real good and so that's what I've done and it is now uh, pretty late in the day on Friday afternoon so I'm going to call it a day Thank you so very much for watching. Come back next week at the same time, 6 o'clock usually on Saturdays. I'll post in the next week's video uh, in the series of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary. And hope to see you then.